so first of all it's my humble uh, gratitude and it's a great honor for me that today i've been called as a panelist for the club meet of innovate your curious and i'm thankful to you so uh, as well as dr vk sir because they gave me the opportunity to present myself on this big platform today so starting my presentation um, so today i would be speaking about myself as a young innovator how my journey shaped what i have achieved and also about technology and innovation which according to me is the need of the hour for any student or anyone in the world so introducing me i am a grade 9 student passionate and enthusiastic about applying computer programming in stem uh, i have been conferred with the pradhan mantri rashtriya bal shakti puraskar 2021 under the category of innovation which is the national higher civilian honor for children and along with i'm also a certified full stack developer olympiad gold medalist and a young member and a researcher at the new york academy of sciences i'm a learner by passion and learn and grow is my motto every day as i said my best friends are physics computer statistics technology and mathematics it has rightly been said by dr ap j abdul kalam change is crucial it brings new thought and new thought leads to innovative actions and this is the line which i remember all the times when i try to innovate something for the social cause and that is why coming to my innovations well what i developed as a young innovator are three mobile applications namely the raksha women safety app the kami fm the healthcare app and the cyber buddy anti cyber bullying app which are all available on the google play store so that they can be downloaded by anyone and the motto behind this apps is to work for the social cause so that the people could access these services in their life and could benefit from it talking about my first application which is called the raksha women safety app so this app is mainly made to ensure the safety of women and i've developed this app leaving no stone unturned to make world a much safer place for women to work and live with an utmost safety and no fear because if women are part of the workforce of the economy of india then we are going to achieve those heights that no country achieved before so for my uh, raksha women safety app i was awarded the bal puraskar and the raksha women safety for the raksha women safety app as well as for my olympiad achievements and achievements in competitive examinations as well so it was my honor and a golden opportunity to interact with the honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji on 25th january 2021 and below this you can see uh, i was acknowledged on twitter by various uh, uh, various ministries and honorable prime minister so honorable vice president of india and i was also covered by various media agencies and newspapers and this was such an experience that i had never uh, even thought of experiencing before um, nothing like this had happened to me before and i'm really honored to get this award so along with i also got the opportunity to interact with uh, minister of state prime minister's office dr jitendra singh and as well as dis the district magistrate mr anshul gurk so it was an honor for me to interact with them and uh, with dr jitendra singh it was such a lively conversation and we talked a lot about science and technology and what all innovations that are happening nowadays talking about the second uh, application which i had developed it is called the kami fem mental health care app as you know emotional mental health is important as it encompasses our psychological emotional and social well being considering this quintessential i developed this application which i believe will surely help people to cope with stress for the kami fem app uh, i was awarded certificate of achievement and first position at iit jammu's coding competition I was also honored in Awam Ki Awaz episode by Honorable LG of Jain K, Mr. Manoj Sena. I was also a finalist at the IIT Roorkee's exhibition, which is a technical exhibition held at their annual technical fest. I was also awarded Best App Award in National Youth Idathon held at IIT Delhi, and also a national finalist in the Iris National Science Fair. Going to IIT 
when i am not even in a college and a school student was such a, a lifetime experience for me because i i was able to see the atmosphere the uh, facilities provided at uh, india's premier institute that is in technology that is iit so uh, i couldn't tell much about this yeah, it was a lifetime opportunity uh, achievements in my olympiad exams are uh, international rank 1 in mathematics olympiad uh in national cyber olympiad and international rank 2 in national science olympiad so because of my olympiad achievements i have also been receiving the annual academic excellence scholarship for the years 2021 2019 20 and 2018 19 sessions so consecutively for three sessions um then uh, recently uh, so i was also invited for the byju's young genius show showcasing unique and very few child prodigies uh, that was telecasted on the network 18 channels and on news 18 and i got the golden chance to also uh, travel to mumbai for the shooting and it was a mesmerizing experience over there it was mesmerizing because i got the lifetime opportunity to interact and to share the stage with senior anchor anand narsimhan sir Tokyo Olympic star uh, Lavlina Borgohe ma'am and CEO of Amul Dr R Sodi sir also did Dr APJ Abdul Kalam said in his autobiography thinking is the capital enterprise is the way hard work is the solution and this is my motto and now coming on to the main topic where well, what is technology innovation and a new term technovation technology is a branch that deals with engineering or applied sciences so it's just engineering but uh, it is combined with mathematics and computers and all those things related to programming as well and innovation necessarily doesn't mean that it has to be related to technology it could be anything that helps people mainly at that pain point so for example if a person is having a pain point so if you empathize with him then you are innovating something that is able to make uh, lives of people better and rightly it has also been said by dr uh, gambhir sir so it is the thing that actually makes the life of people better and that is what i keep in my mind as well and technovation is a new radical approach that has been developed by innovators which is short for technology as well as innovation at the same time it means developing ideas products mobile application hardware things and all those stuff which which use technology to make the people lives of people better and uh, they mainly involve both innovating in technology side technological revolution of the future where everyday people around the world come up with a lot of new ways to make the future brighter from agriculture to transport technology is changing the way we live our lives interact with those around us well with these technological innovations the world is becoming a more seamless place where almost everything is possible it is available to us at any place any time well a new technology that is metaverse it is making anything available to us at any time anywhere and we could experience anything whatever you believe and also there are some technological revolutions of the future such as self driving vehicles ai machine learning blockchain technology etc 42% believe technology has improved their lives 4.66 billion users use technology in their daily life and 91.9% people believe future will be pivoted to information technology now my recipe of a tech savvy and innovative mindset would be inspiration vision growth idea creativity and process how can you be innovative people talk about that innovating something is very difficult well it's not if you can know this recipe and the process of innovating first of all you need to look for something to solve in your surroundings look with a wide eye and see the problems in the world then you have to take visual notes and collect ideas based on what you saw then you have to research on it and give yourself time to digest what you have collected what ideas you have collected what problems you have seen in the world 
and when you have got one problem to solve then you try upon it try it try it try it because when you try it one day one day you get to the ultimate solution for the problem why is important to develop an innovative mindset well everybody can innovate the only thing that the person needs is an innovative mindset it consists of three main ingredients as in a dish that is creativity knowledge and perseverance thomas edison quoting creative mind said that it is only 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration the innovative minds can uh, mindset can play with their thoughts they see new possibilities and opportunities in an out of the box way in everything that is seen uh, with their eyes at last my message to my young friends would be that whatever you do work with passion perseverance and with purpose this is a three p formula that i follow as stated by einstein every person is a genius so never stop learning for when we stop learning we stop growing my motto will always be learn and grow thank you and be curious be inquisitive be innovative